All right, we're here with Mike Ahrens of Ahrens Bicycles. They're out of San Jose, California. And Mike, we're taking a look at one of your steel hardtail mountain bikes here. Tell us a little bit about this bike and what you've learned in your history of bike building from starting with steel into your work with aluminum. Sure. So uh, what, we're, what we're showing here is basically this is a, a demo bike. It's a all steel construction. Um, basically a, a new spin on old ideas, right? So we use, you know, longer travel fork. Um, this is a Reynolds 853 front triangle. It's a Columbus C2 and Tongay Prestige in the rear. Nice. Now, the reason we switch the materials around is for a certain type of ride quality. You know, the 853 is a little bit stiffer um, than other materials available. Columbus has a nice externally butted C2, so you get kind of some stiffness around the bottom bracket. And then again, you know, I employ a shorter you know, rear end, shorter chain stays, slightly lower bottom bracket for better handling. Then we go with uh, the Tongay in the rear, which basically again takes the edge off. It gives a distinct, very distinct ride quality. Um, you know, supple, uh, smooth, uh, very predictable. Yep. Um, I love the steels. I started doing steels in you know mid '90s. Um, you know, working with Rock Lobster and, and, and uh, just have a tremendous appreciation for the steel. There's so much flexibility in material selection. You know, you've got Data Chai, Columbus. Um, True temper, all these materials yeah. to choose from, Reynolds, and you can basically mix and match for the person and go, hey, you know, what do they want? Tune that for them, and it works out really well. Sounds like you also have a, an appreciation for fine beer. I see it was a that's, bottle opener on the head tube right. here. This is awesome. Tell us about this guy. That's right. So, what we have is the basically the Wisecracker, um, the original version mounted to your seat post, and we, we've been focusing on the headset version and basically a headset spacer. Uh, we do custom ones uh, for other companies like Sockeye, you know, um, Jensen. Uh, if you wanted to get one for an you know, MTBR road yep. bike review, you could do that easily. Awesome. And, you know, mounts to your, mounts to your uh, engine and eighth headset, um, weighs, you know, 16 grams, and uh, you're good to go. Nice. Crack a beer right after you're <laughs> right at the top. Important. You, know, you got to have that. So, what have you learned in your, in your steel building days of the well, hardtails like this? How is it adapted into your aluminum frames, and, and particularly this bike here, which is a 650B. Tell us a little bit how you've been able to adapt your learnings with steel into this bike. Yeah, well, what uh, we discovered, um, you know, riding steel for so many years and continually riding steel is that, you know, you have a certain ride quality, you know, suppleness and, and kind of an e e you know, easiness on your body, um, very forgiving. And when you, when you move into aluminum, you get, you know, automatically a lot more stiffness. The tubes are much larger in diameter. Yep. Um, it's just a stiffer material by nature, so how do you how do you alleviate some of that stiffness? So what I've tried to do over the last say seven or eight years is to, is develop you know yokes um, and dropouts that basically will assist you in taking the edge off. And what I mean by that is is adding some compliance to the ride. If you look at the bottom bracket, yeah. you get a little bit of movement. Yeah. Um, when you're pedaling. You don't notice this flex. You, you feel like the bike's launching you forward, and that's what I want. You know, power transfer, fast response. Um, again, good handling traits with good geometry. But at the same time, when you're going to go downhill, you're you know carving through sections and you're you know, picking the right line. I want the bike to actually flow with you and give a little bit. That's the the goal. These are you know a good analogy is like a tuning fork. Um, you can allow that tuning fork to tune the ride quality, you can get rid of some of the harshness. Yeah. It's definitely different ride quality than steel. However, it's not as harsh as you know people associate aluminum with. You know, right. So rigid, it's jarring. You don't have that, especially with carbon post bar. You can take some of that edge off. So basically, what I'm what I'm getting at is you can get a lighter package. With this, I can fit different wheel sizes. We can do 26, 650, 29er. Um, we've just recently integrated a BB30 uh, on cool. aluminum. With aluminum, it's a little bit trickier. You can't always get the tubes you want. I can't right. really mix and match like I can with steel. So I've got to make what I want. You right. know? And that's that's the, just what we've done here. Um, and this is 650. The, in case people aren't familiar with 650B, the advantage of this is what? For people who are taller? A, a little bit height? taller rider. Um, you know, I'm 6'4", and if I, you know, build up a 26-inch bike for myself, it's just, it can be very, you know, just too high a seat post, just real stretched out. It just proportionally looks kind of strange. So with the 650B, you can get, you know, a little bit more well-proportioned bike, um, a little bit better rolling, uh, you know, a little faster rolling than the 26, yep. and uh, still can build up quite a strong wheel. 
Um, my main complaint with uh, the 29er was wheel strength uh, on personal bikes and also for my, for my customers. So the 650 kind of came around and we said, okay, can we adopt that and let's try it out. So I've been riding, personally riding it for like 18 months. Um, I, I like it a lot and uh, I'm not pushing it on other people. It has to be the right match. You know, if they right. want to try something new, let them you know, demo a bike and a lot of people like it. Nice. So I think as time goes on, you'll see more 650 in the market. I'm, uh, you're already seeing it now, but it's going to get even better. So. Right on. Well, there you have it. Great custom steel, aluminum, and especially that Wisecracker innovative yeah, right little here. headset. Got to get that. Mike, Aaron's <laughs> Bikes, thanks a lot, man. Thank you.